Hello everybody, I'm Sarah Banks from Banks' Business Solutions and in this top tip video I'm going to show you how to create a MailChimp sign-up form using the Yikes Easy Forms plugin for WordPress. So let's pop over into WordPress now and have a look at what we need to do. So here I am in the back end of my WordPress website and as you can see I've already got some sign-up forms created. I'm going to take you through the process to create a form completely from scratch. You will need to have installed the Easy Forms for MailChimp plugin in order to do this and I can record another video if people would find that useful on how to do that at another time. Once the plugin is installed we go to here to create a new sign up form. We give it a name and you can give it a description although that's not absolutely necessary. You select the list that you wish for this form to be associated on your, in your MailChimp account and you click create. And we can now go through and build our form. We have the form fields here, which we can just literally pick up and drag and drop across into the form builder. So we're going to add email address and we're going to add first name because that's what we're collecting on this form. And as you can see, they appear here in the builder. If you want to change the order of them, you just drag them around. Now, what we can also do is we can add interest groups by adding check boxes if we wish to do so. And we can also automatically add tags to this. So if we want to put in, say, download sent as a tag, we just click on this and add to form builder. This won't show for people when they sign up, but when your subscribers go into MailChimp, they will come through with that tag and you can then use that to trigger an automation or to segment them in a different way as you require. The next thing we need to go into is have a look at some of the list settings over here. We can change the list here that we're connecting up this form to. But the biggest thing is the opt-in settings. Now, if you're using tags, you need to use the single opt-in option. Um, there are arguments for and against this for GDPR, but when you add this form into your website, you can add text around it in order to cover you for GDPR and you could also use a welcome email to cover you for that. The next thing you want to do is update existing subscribers. This means that if somebody signs up through this form and they're already on your MailChimp list, they, rather than them getting the error message that they're already there within that audience, it will automatically update their information. And then you can choose whether or not to send an update email should that be the case. You then have your submission settings, which just say whether or not you want to hide the form after sign up and whether or not you want to replace or update interest groups. You then click update form and that is your form created. It is as simple as that and as I said that is allowing that form to automatically tag people in MailChimp and also make sure that they don't get that error message if they're already signed up. All you've got to then do is copy your short code and paste it into the page where you want the form to sit. So it's pretty simple and straightforward process. I hope that you found that useful. Please do drop me a comment, get in touch with me if there are other tips that you'd like to see for MailChimp and WordPress. And I hope that you'll join me on another video soon. Bye. For